Hi everybody, this is Vicki Woodyard. As usual, I don't know what I'm going to say, but pull up a chair and maybe I'll talk for two or three minutes. Uh, so first of all, let's just take a breath and loosen our shoulders and, and just come together, virtually come together. It, it's my feeling that there is a resonance that can happen between me and you, between you and me, you and I, that transcends the mind's babble. I think we can agree that everybody has had it up to here with uh, non-duality babble, parsing, uh, I know better than you, that sort of thing. Surely we have to look to what we are at home. I wrote a little humor piece about that today, saying that if you think you're on the brink of enlightenment, ask your family what they think. <laughs> you'll, you'll just get a look, like, <laughs> you'll just get that look, you know. We're all playing roles. That's, that's the way the good Lord designed it. Um, we come into these incarnations, these incarcerations, we're all just doing time, as Bo Laszlo said famously. We're all walking each other home. We're all players on the, the mortal stage. We strut and fret our hour upon the stage and then are heard no more. Let's admit, first off, that there's a lot of suffering when we're incarnated. Lord knows there's suffering. And no one really wants to be naked in their suffering. No one wants to shed the veils. But you know what? The more veils you take off, the brightly your core light is able to reach other people. And that's why I'm making these videos in hopes that I can shed enough veils for you to feel the core light that I've learned the hard way. I mean... Uh, Spirituality is not a walk in the park. And someone wanted to argue with me the other day that um, the intellect had to be used. Well, there was a wonderful uh, Englishman, Dr. Rainer C. Johnson. He wrote a book called The Spiritual Path, and he said, the intellect is just base camp before you begin your final trip up the mountain of God. But the intellect has to be abandoned, and then it is alone to be alone. There's a, a silence barrier that has to be endured before it opens out onto the splendor of uh, cosmic consciousness. This I've been told. But as much as I hate to admit it, this is Vicky talking to you. You know, this this is not not Vicky. This is. Vicky, <laughs> this, she's the one I have to live with, you know, and so I like to keep it honest and tell people, hey, I still have a lot of baggage I'm trying to sneak past security <laughs> and take with me on that flight from the alone to the alone, but I also have a really good uh, BS detector. I've listened to enough YouTube gurus spouting off to know that they don't know any more than I do. We all have feet of clay, and we're all in this together. Being an introvert, I do love the retreat of being in my own home, like I can talk to you from my kitchen, and I just really love it. And I hope you're enjoying these little talks I'm doing because they're off the top of my head. Uh, ultimately, we don't know. And Vernon Howard said, when you know that you don't know, then you know. Namaste.